Did you know? We have published an eTabs course with a complete 20-story building design. The course will include complete guide to eTabs, from basics to advanced level with a completion certificate. Check link in description of this video. In the lecture we will learn the design of a steel pole. We have to design the pole for a load of 500 pound per fit. That load is usually for the wind load and the other loads acting on the structure. Usually the wind loads form a catchment on these structures. The pole height is 40 feet. We have to design the pole in SAP 2000. The base plate for the fixed connection is required for the pole of course. And the steel grid given is A36. We can revise the steel grid if we have to. Let's start with the SAP 2000. I'm using the SAP 2000 which is 32 bit and version 20. We have already shared the installation tutorial for the SAP 2000 video. So let's start with the modeling of the pole. I will be deleting this pre-assigned structure by SAP 2000 as default. So I have defined a grid of 40 feet height. Now defining the material property of A36 steel which is 36 KSI grade steel. Now I will be defining the frame sections since the pole is a circular steel hollow pipe. So I will be importing that section which are predefined in the SAP 2000 library. You can see the address it is in computers and structures, program files and SAP 2020. So I will be picking the appropriate library since I am using American code. So AISC 14 is the right library for me. You can also use aluminium or lightweight pipes. But since we are designing it for 500 pound per feet load, so we will be needing a structural steel pipe. Okay, so I have defined imported sections with different diameters and thicknesses I'll be importing them in my model and then click OK let's save the model first in pole design Let's start with the actual modeling of the pole. So I'll be defining an auto select circular pipe section in which I give the option to ETAPs as per the analytical forces to select the section which will be appropriate for the design. The rule which I have defined is select the starting section by median means the highest area will be selected at the last step and ETAPs will start analysis from the least cross sectional area. Usually in simple structures we can do that. And of course the base is fixed because we cannot assign pin to the structure, it would be unstable. So the fixed end it's like a cantilever beam. And now we'll have to define the load patterns. I'll be assuming the 500 pound per fit load is a live load.
let's assign the load and apply going to the design properties I have selected IMF there is no need of selecting SMF because it's not a actual part of a building structure or bridge but however the joint will be detailed or the connection will be detailed as per the requirements of the structural loads and safety provisions that is the base plate okay so let's define the load combinations add default design combinations steel frame and click ok and ok let's add the design combinations in the these two combinations are for service checks and these two are for design and click on ok now I'll be running the analysis and then we'll proceed with the design let's start with design of structure since the analysis is complete so the section property of 20 inch by 0.5 thickness is also failing HSS 20 means we had a 20 inch diameter pipe of 0.5 inches thickness and it's still failing in major moment that is flagship so we will be needing to increase the thickness or the pipe diameter another thing I can do to pass the structure is that I'll be selecting the higher strength material so right now we are using A36 as discussed in the beginning of the video we can go to a higher grade steel that is A992 having a strength of 50 ksi which is default defi defined in the SAP 2000 software so now our pipe is passing the structural design check and the stress ratio is less than 1 which means the de demand over capacity ratio is less than 1 means the structure is passing the code requirements of design we can also see the drift drift limit as per different codes is different so right now our displacement is coming out to be 0.73 feet as the unit selected is feet let's check there that in okay so I I I fix stick to the feet units so 0 0.73 divided by 40 percent 40 feet gives me a drift of 1.8 percent so most of the codes permit drift limit of 2 to 2.5 percent but I'll stick to the two person that is conservative limit and the structure is passing the check in the next video you can see the link link in description we'll be learning how to design the base plate of the same steel pole